what's good everybody he is your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk Dima story time music so man you know I'm always on Facebook and many of y'all are always sending me messages to stop the show some of y'all are annoying and I have to ignore some of your messages because you send me too goddamn much but shout out to the brother J Prof, right? He sent me this particular story that deals with Vivica A. Fox. Now we know Vivica A. Fox now, who is currently one of the controversial hosts on Fox. So now, you know, stop the show. Vivica A. Fox is a typical, you know, um, you know, one from the black community, uh, you know, attractive, can't keep a man, loud mouth. This is Vivica A. Fox. Well, she's still looking good. She's, you know, 56 years old. She's still thick. I'm not mad at her, right? And in Vlad TV, you know, he does a lot of, you know, good interviews. And I've only saw the part that I'm going to commentate on right now, which is the fact she discusses why she broke up with the husband. Now, obviously, it's not the show. You cannot replay any of Vlad TV's videos on YouTube. He will definitely copyright strike you. So I would not advise anybody to do that. And I'm not going to do it either. But she talked about how she was married before now who was she married to vivica fox was married to a guy who was a, a singer all right i've never heard of the guy but his name is christopher harvest now also known as christopher six nine harvest meaning that obviously six foot nine now stop the show at the time vivica fox was 34 or 33 years old so in, in some cases, we would say, you know, hitting the wall are, are very close. All right. At that age in the 90s, 33, 34, that's kind of old for a female. Right. And then so at that point, you know, you're not able to really get anybody of high status at 34, 35, 33 years old. Um, it's hard for any woman to do that. Most women are getting caught up in their primes, you know, 20s and, you know, 30s. By the time mid 30s, it's over. All right. So Vivica Fox was definitely attractive at 33, 34, just like she is now. But it just goes to show you that she had worked in her career so much, she'd already hit the wall. So the only man that she could get with was Christopher Harvest, who was not a provider. He's an up and coming singer. But if you look at him, six foot nine, uh, someone would, might consider him to be. Fairly handsome. This is the kind of man that um, that she can brag about. You know, I got a, my husband is tall. You know, he's good looking and, and things like that. Here's the problem. Um, Mr. Harvest was not. He he was he was broken, struggling. And see, this is what a lot of times you see a sisters do in the black community. They will go after the guy that is tall. Um, they feel that he's good looking. But the guy has absolutely no earning potential. So what happens is because they can't get the provider guy or they can't get the guy who's long term standing, they'll go for the what they what they're looking for, which is the looks and the height. And she got all of that. Six foot nine, uh, a guy she felt was attractive. And also she wanted to be able to impress her friends. And I want to talk about this, too. A lot of women do things, uh, make decisions simply because their friends are doing it. She wanted to feel important also she wanted to have her wedding day and a lot of women want to have their wedding day instead of understanding that marriage is a business it's a long-term commitment there are a lot of things that happen in the relationships you know you know marriages are marriages are hard work it's just like a business it's like a you know any kind of um, you know practice or any kind of institution there's good days there's bad days all right she wasn't thinking about that she even admitted that she didn't know the guy as much as she should have known him she seen you know knew that it was 34 she was 34 okay she she knew she was older she wanted to get married she didn't want to be the eye lady out here's what happened okay <coughs> sorry i'm allergic to broken niggas. um here's what happened she says that she divorced him because she got tired of paying for everything she got tired of being the provider in the relationship okay and what this tells me is that she in, in, in other words she settled for the guy because she felt the best that she could do but what she was hoping for was that he could live up to his potential he was a singer he was going to sign with death row tupac got killed death row went into a frenzy and she was looking at okay he's tall 
Um, you know, I, I like what he looks like. So I'm going to bet on his potential, which is sometimes pretty good to do, you know, but it, it, it's, it's, it's better to, to bet on a man's potential in more conventional things. Like if a man is going to, you know, engineering school, a man is getting the MBA, a man is going to be a doctor, a man's going to be an attorney, but a man that's in entertainment, you don't know. And what she said is once death row hit, she figured out that he didn't, or that didn't work out. He didn't pursue his career with the same tenacity that she was pursuing the career, which stopped the show. And I want to talk about that being an unequally yoked marriage. All right. Basically, you're a very motivated woman. You're dealing with a very unmotivated man for the simple fact that you can't attract a motivated man. Can I get a ooh sound effect? <laughs> That's what happens more often than not. Okay, a lot of successful women in the black community, when they can't, when they're competitive and, and wanting to earn and do things in a relationship, the guys that they should be maybe partnered with are not interested in them. Could be the age, it could be the attitude, and we know that Vivica Fox, from what we can see, has a lot of it, because she can't keep a man, ain't had a man since long term, you know, ever since 50 Cent. Booty clapping sounds! <laughs> I mean, 50 Cent hit her a few times, and that was about it. She wanted to get with him, but no cigar. That's the issue that we're having. So, you know, she's not able to attract a man on her level. So then you end up with a man who's not motivated. You end up with a man who is not a leader. But the problem is, is that you knew that he was this kind of man in the first place. It was okay when, you know, booty clapping sounds. <laughs> when you in the bedroom, that's good. You know, your girlfriends say that, hey, he looks good when you go out. All of those things are okay at the time, but you're not looking at the long-term plan that the man has for himself or for you. You don't ask the right questions. And so many times women get with these guys, have babies by them, and thank God she didn't have any kids. Then you have babies by a guy, two or three, then they come to find out the man is not motivated and guess who's paying the bills? You're the breadwinner. But here's the problem. You said that you didn't want to be the breadwinner in a relationship. Well, then the thing about it is, why didn't you do the things that would have attracted a breadwinner man to be with you? See, you can't have a certain type of attitude and feel that a man's going to provide for you. That's not going to happen. And Vivica A. Fox has an attitude that is, I believe, very aggressive. Okay. And um, it could turn a lot of men off. And so when you have that kind of attitude, you know, where it could seem that maybe some guys would think that you're brash or disrespectful or rude. Um, it's going to it's gonna make a man not want to take care of you. The only kind of man that can get with a woman like Vivica Fox typically is a man that's, uh, you know, a little bit more beta, okay? And see, you say that you want to be independent, but then when you're put in the position to be an independent woman and you are paying for a guy, you knew you made more money than him, now you want to complain about it. But when it comes to the attractiveness level, not just physically, of what a man will need to do things for you, that's a problem. And see, this is what we're talking about. Many women in black America have garnered the success. They have garnered the education and they don't know how to appeal to a provider man's mentality. Okay. Men need certain attributes from women that respect their provision. You cannot be a loud mouth. I'm not saying that she is, but it, it, it appears she could be. You cannot be rude. You cannot be any type of thing like that and expect a man to be provi provided for you. You're going to get a man that's very indolent, which is what she got. A lazy beta male that will spend up all your money. And this is the kind of women. These are the kind of women that black women are complaining. Men are that black women are complaining about. Yet these are the men that some of them are, 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 are reproducing with. You're marrying. Okay. Because... You know, in relationships, in order for you to give, you have to get, get, you have to give. You can't just get everything because you're a woman. You have to be able to exchange and also, and men need certain things from women. Submissiveness, the ability to, 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 to be comfortable, to comfort the man. You know, many feminine characteristics that women have forgotten about because you want to be career oriented. Nothing wrong with being that. I'm a career oriented man. You know, but I still understand that women are sensitive. Women need certain things. Women need certain stuff to feel beautiful. See, men understand this more so than they do. And this is exactly why Vivica A. Fox is single. Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first company at the top. Check out the Black Men Are Perfect t-shirts. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I'm out.